2005, the artist Christo, his project of many, many years in planning was finally consummated. When I went there in the morning, very, very early with my camera, there were large rolls that were being unfurled on these rectangular gate-like structures. People were pulling tabs and they would unfurl on cue. I could feel the thrill of everyone. We had waited and waited and there was so much talk about it. Would it work? Would it not work? Would it destroy the park? Well, they were magical. I've never seen a project like this in my life. It transformed not only the park, but all the visitors to the park. There were people from all over the world there, and we were all speaking with one another, talking about the wonder of what we were seeing. It was a remarkable transformation that happened through Christo's art. Well, I went every single day while it was open, and I photographed these gates in all kinds of lighting and weather conditions. It snowed, gates in all kinds of sunlight, gates from close up, gates from far away. I would see Christo and Jean-Claude, his red-headed wife, whose hair almost matched the saffron color of the gates themselves, walking and with great pride through the, through the park area, observing their great work. As I was walking through one of the areas of the gates, uh, I noticed there was a movie star of long ago walking in front of me, Kevin McCarthy, a very gigantic man and uh, with great presence. And as he walked, I saw from the other side Jean-Claude and uh, Christo himself walking toward Kevin McCarthy. And they ran to each other and embraced each other. They were old friends. What a moment in this beautiful place. There were guides at each gate with little jackets on saying the gates. They were from all over the United States. And with great pride, they would go into a, a rap about, about the cloth, about how it was built. It added such a personal aspect to this amazing experience. The key word here is experience. When I photograph, uh, what I'm trying to communicate is the experience of what I'm seeing to such a degree that the viewer of the photograph will also taste and feel that experience. Mm -hmm.